Woohoo! Hey there, it is Angie M and it is time for a planner play. I feel like I can't call these planner plays anymore. I feel like we have to call these welcome to my planner ADD because I switch planners like nobody's business. And honestly, last week I went to switch to, to my mini and I did a thing, thing and a thing and a thing and a thing because I really love the paper test. I'm just gonna grab my mini quickly so I can show you because I really love the paper tests. weekly agenda and dailies like I I love these but when I put them in this size and went to to go to it I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't I think I am in love with my a6 so here is my a6 she is she is full on chunky using the dailies for every day I can only keep two months in here which quite frankly I'm pretty much at anyway so it is what it is like I'd be honest, I'm sorry, I'd be honest. We'll just, we'll just let it go and roll from there. I did do some restructuring. So I have kind of my inbox pages here and then I roll right into my calendar now. I did order some more. So this isn't from cloth and paper, but I ordered similar tabs from cloth and paper. These are just like little half pages to throw in there and mark things down because I do need some more of these guys, I do have other things that I could use, but really they get in the way of the tabs and it, it became a whole thing and a thing and a thing and a thing. So I have been using the Paper Test Designs Weekly Agenda. Again, I love it. I can't say enough good things about it. And the Paper Test Designs Dated Dailies. I love these. I love being able to write down what is going on. I use them kind of journaling and list making and notes and and scheduling and then I come back to the weekly agenda and then I have the dailies in after the weekly agenda and it just works out brilliantly. I went crazy with some deck. <laughs> I have been trying to use it up. Like if I have stickers and things, I don't want them hanging around anymore. I don't, I am no longer treating deco like it's too precious to use. Right, we're not we're not gonna schmeagle this. It's not a ring. When I say schmeagel, if you don't know me, that's that's funny inside joke. It's schmeagel, I know, I realize. But uh, like stickers are not my precious. We are going to use them. And I just I got on a kick where I really liked the jars. I thought it would be perfect, so Boom, there we go. That's where that comes from. And then for April, I have some things in already. I have the monthly plan in March for working out. Let's just say, yeah, I'm I'm yeah, I'm staring at my treadmill now knowing I have not worked out. And yeah. So exercise has not been a thing that has been happening outside of running around with my daughter. Most days I am so tired at the end of the day and so exhausted that y'all know, preaching to the choir here, we, we know that we can say we should schedule things in as much as possible, but my alarm goes off at 5 a.m. seven days a week. Do I get up at 5 a.m. seven days a week? No, not always. But by the time I get done with everything I've got going on and work, and the kid goes to bed and it's nine at night, the last thing I wanna do on the planet is get on the treadmill. Like I just, yeah, it's a thing. So again, I just, I have carried through with the plan. Um, just so you guys know, I have modified. I did take the grid out of this bottom here. I have taken the grid out of these and in future, in the second reprint of these, I've taken the grid out of the top. And then on the daily plans that I am printing, I did add in the check boxes. Well, I didn't add in. There are options with and without check box. I did choose the with the check box this time around because I really like the check box. And then I did move where my projects are housed. So projects are basically, it's basically my goals section. So I have cute, I have my cute stuff. A lot can happen in a year with my twilight sparkle. Welcome to my little pony, my little pony. Please don't yell at me, Hasbro, because I love you and I have loved you since the 1980s when I was born. I wish, 
I don't think I have any of my original points. It drives me really sad. Like literally, like literally, because my daughter likes My Little Pony, the new version, and I, I like it too, so it's a thing. But I moved my filming schedule here. So I am out. Crud, do I not have... I don't have a video for tomorrow. I don't have a video for tomorrow. How did I miss that? How, how did I just go to the YouTubes? You guys are going on a journey with me. Hi, my name is Angela and welcome to my, my, I clearly am not as organized as I should be life. So let's just go content. I thought I had stuff. No, no, I have stuff. What am I, what am I talking about? What? So why did I not update this? So the get ready with me is done. The 26th, yes. I apparently just didn't write it down. So then I've got a slash samples uh, hopefully by Wednesday I should have my VB kit and then I have other things that have to go over there which I have to copy over from my mini so okay all right we're never mind we're in a good place 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 and then I just have in here notes on things I need to do why is this here? I don't know. I don't know. That doesn't belong there. I have already filmed that, so that belongs elsewhere. And then just my my goals and I have my finances. I did, I was gonna use this important dates slash no buy, but I just ended up just decoing it. So it's literally just a useless deco page at this point. Because I don't know, I lost my mind. I lost my mind. I'll probably move it somewhere else because I think it would actually be really cute elsewhere in my planner. Um, so let's go back before April. So what I do with notes on anything in the month that I need or things I've filmed, they all go within the month because I do archive in case I need it someday for some reason. So that is that. Is that. There's not a whole lot to talk about for this week. I've been planning a lot as I go. So there really isn't a lot to say. Let's sit down. Let's sit down and plan stuff. There is an insert that I am thinking about for content planning. Maybe that will be something we walk through at some point. I really do want to change up some of my videos and some of the content and what I'm doing. So we have to work on that as well in terms of where I want things to go. But I'm just, I'm not, I'm not there yet is the easiest way to put it. Um, I've had a lot going on this week. And I know that we all have a lot going on and I hate using that as an excuse because it feels like such a cop out because it's like, why can't you prioritize what's important? And it just, it, it is what it is. I'm tired. I'm not really getting the things that I want to get to. I have two other things I could talk about in here in terms of, I guess, part of planner play, but it really has more to do with, with how I create. And while I say that, you know what? Hold that thought, give me a minute. This is that magical moment in the movie. <laughs> when I'm like, but wait, I have other things. All right, so I just grabbed my planner bag. What is in my planner bag? I don't know, it changes daily. All right, so I have two mole skeins. Moleskins. I call them moleskins. I've heard other people call them moleskins. These are the expanded editions. I picked up the first one with blank pages because I thought that this was going to make a great sort of planning sidekick slash journal slash creative ideas slash catch all for everything that wasn't going to necessarily go in my planner. I have, I, I, if I added up all of the moleskins I had and then did cost, I would I would be really upset and want to hurt myself. I would facepalm really hard. But 
For me, my creative process isn't just digital and online. My creative process involves lots of writing. So I picked up a lined edition. I always pull out, here's the top. So I always pull out <laughs> their bookmarks because I hate them and they get in my way. But what I found in terms of my creative writing is I can't, I can't do it in here. This turned into too much of a journal, too much of a planner assist, and quite frankly, too much of an archive of cute stuff that didn't otherwise have a home. So it became, I don't know that I would call it a memory journal so much as a things that are important to me but didn't really have a home kind of place. In the future, I would not recommend going hardcover if you're going to do something like this where you're inserting a bunch of stuff. You know, for example, like if you're doing something like, like this, I would not recommend a hardcover. The soft cover works much better for that because it, like this wants to hold it in and I'm probably going to end up breaking the binding. I'm, I'm not even halfway into this with the stuff that I've put in here. And then, and then there, there, there go my lights. Thank you for telling me it's 4.30 as I get angry here. <laughs> Uh, Danding and why, but for my creative writing, honestly, I just, I just needed a space that I could write and just use as my creative writing space and not have all that other stuff in it. So you probably will not see this, my creative writing guy, because I don't, I don't do not and am not comfortable sh with sharing my writing process. It's just a thing personal preference. I do I do follow some creative writing YouTubers that uh, are very okay with sharing their process, not so much their content, but how they do things. I just, my process is my process is my process is my process. And I'm very protective of it. I always have been. Maybe someday I will pull out the great big old storage box of journals that I have had since I was basically a kid that I have used as creative writing journals that someday my, my child will inherit and be like, what am I supposed to do with these things that were clearly so important to my mother? And this, I will not, I will not be sharing the journaling sections, but obviously there, there is creative in here that I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll do like a monthly roundup where I'll, where I'll flag some things out where I got really creative or I felt moved to do something artistic and just show you guys what I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not a bullet journaler and I get really jealous in the bullet journaling groups and seeing the other other YouTubers out there who are incredibly artistic and can draw and paint and just do all kinds of beautiful things. Me, I'm over here like, here are some stickers I love. I put them where I wanted to. That's really more my speed. Here, Here's a little bit of splash of color. I, I'm not that kind of an artist. And I can say that because I grew up with two very, very talented artists in my mom and brother. I'm like, here's a stick figure. And there's like, here's something beautiful and real looking. And I'm like, I hate you both <laughs> because I was jealous because my creativity has more to do with photography, filming, writing, that kind of stuff. Like there are different kinds of creativity out there. So it's okay to be jealous of someone else's creativity to sit down and look. I, there are things that you do that I wish I could do that I just, I'm not as good at as you are because you never know who's looking at you going, man, that person's really creative too. Because again, there, there are different types of creativity and creativity is creativity is creativity. There are really cool things that are out there, really neat things in graphic design and all kinds of other stuff, stuff that people do with just words and colors. We like all that stuff. All that stuff is good and awesome and should be celebrated. We should be celebrating these artistic qualities. So. That's that. I feel like I'm forgetting something important that I wanted to tell y'all. I, I have to do a space update. I hate the way my desk sits. We have some framing that the prior owners of our home did wrong. We've been here for like 12 years now, almost 12 years, that we have to tear out and some things I still have to do and I haven't settled on where my desk is. So at some point in the future, there will be a video just showing you my space. I am getting closer to a setup that works logistically for face filming. The reason you have not been seeing face videos is because my setup has not lended to 
me actually sitting down and talking to you guys. And at some point, I think these planner plays might convert into something where it's half and half screen where I have the planner video on one side and then me talking on another or, you know, a screen in screen because I do want, I do want this to stop being so much of a top down filming. It's just, I, I, got, I gotta get the space situated so that I am comfortable to film that way without having to worry about the background, you know, getting the sheet up behind me, all that other good stuff. I just, I, I don't want to do it. So, <laughs> so we are getting there. We are, we are closing in every day. We get closer to a setup that works, but uh, on that mercenary note, I will leave you guys until the next one. And as always, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please, please thumbsies up. Let YouTube know you like the video, you know, subscribe again, more, more planner content. I don't know that I'm going to be doing so much with inserts anymore because I feel like I have found the inserts that functionally work for me like completely like in terms of work schedule home schedule I what I didn't show you on the on the oh that's why I didn't show you I told you I knew I forgot something on the back of so on the back of these weekly agendas the weekly list is perfect for grocery shopping list right so perfect to write down what you need at the store. You can put your list here. It's really, again, it's just, I love it. It is fantastic. It suits every single need that I have in one insert space-wise in the A6. It is beautiful. And I, I think Little Rage plans for sharing that custom that she had from Paper Test Designs for, for, allow, for, for saying, hey, yes, I am okay with you, you know, sharing my custom so that other people can purchase that as well. Because there was another paper test designs weekly that I was actually interested in having customized for me that was not anywhere near as detailed. And then I started using the Rachel's weekly and I fell in love with it and was like, never mind, I don't need that custom anymore because I absolutely love your inserts. So paper test designs is awesome. I find that I have meandered to a lot more of her inserts. So Yes, it's a thing. It's a thing. We love it. And now I will catch you guys in the next one.